Frank Warren has joined us today. Thank you very much for your time, Frank. It's Frank Warren here on Seconds Out. Big night on Saturday night, Frank. It is. I'm looking forward to it. You know, it's a bit of a first, uh, I believe, first world title fight in, in Hertfordshire for many, many years, probably going back to the old bare knuckle days of, of fight I mean, taking. Somebody will correct me, no doubt, but I, 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 I certainly won in Stevenage, that's for sure. So we're in a majestic seconds here, just, you know, a stone's throw away from the venue at Stevenage uh, Football Club, so it's all it's all happening and uh, we're looking forward to it. Did Billy Joe need this after 2018? Frank, he needed something big, didn't he? Oh, he desperately needs it. You know, he had the worst year ever. Some were self-inflicted, um, but what happened to him in Massachusetts, I thought, was a, was a disgrace. Uh, they breached their own regulations, the, uh, the, uh, the, the Athletic Commission there. Boxing Board of Control, to their credit, supported him, as did many other people. But it was a, a year to forget, and now he's in a position where he's in, where he's got an opportunity to get himself a seat back at the big table. But I mean, how difficult has it been being Billy Joe Saunders? How difficult has it been being his promoter recently, then, Frank? Well, it's been very difficult after that. You know, he was obviously very despondent, and there was a time when he was talking about retiring. But you know, I think he got a lot of inspiration from Tyson Fury and from the problems and trials and tribulations that Tyson had. They've given him some inspiration, and he's taken the leaf out of his book. He's knuckled down. He's trained very hard and he's in great great shape for this fight. Ben Davison's done a brilliant job for him. So now um, we hope that will translate into a big win on Saturday night. And then, then go for anybody you can get, all the biggest names, I guess, Frank. He's never had a problem with that, has he? You know, when he was, when he was a WBO middleweight champion, we, made, we signed twice to fight uh, Golovkin. We sent the contracts back signed. They never came back to us. Uh, Canelo never wanted to know. Quite a few people ducked him. Um, facts of the matter, he's a fighting man and he, and he craves and wants the big fights. And hopefully after this one, he's in a position where we can deliver one to him. Would you work with Chris Eubank Jr. again or is there any chance that fight happening? Look, you know that fight, that's an open door for them. All they need to do is just walk through and we, we'll sign it. They know what the money is. The money was never the problem. The problem is always the dad. The son said, uh, I think before his last fight, that he's in control of his own career now. He'll be making the decisions. And if that's the case, it shouldn't be a problem to make the fight. If he wants to eradicate that loss on his record, if he wants to, you know, try and uh, try and see if he's the better man, I don't think he will do it. I don't. I don't generally don't think Chris Eubanks Jr. fancies to fight or wants to fight in any shape or form. What, what do you see? I mean, you, why, why do you think that, Frank? I just don't think. He, I don't think. I think he knows that, that, that Joe will always beat him. Billy Joe will always beat him. Got Joe Joyce on the card on Saturday night, Frank. I mean, what a great time for the heavyweight division. Well, it's great, isn't it? Certainly for us as well. You know, in BT, we signed some great heavyweights. We've got some good youngsters coming through. I think we've got the best of the next generation. And uh, this is the start of, the, of, a, of a good few months of heavyweight boxing on BT and on shows that we're promoting. You know, Joe's got. Joe's, got, Joe's have only had eight fights. I know everybody says, oh, he's 32, 33 years of age and he won a silver medal in the Olympics. But this is a bit of a step up for him. He's fighting an experienced guy who only a couple of fights ago fought, fought, fought Char for that WBA version of the title. This is a big step up for him. So it, we're going to have to we're going to see what Joe's made of. You say about Billy Joe and, and Tyson being fearless sort of fighting men, and that's Joe Joyce as well, isn't it? Well, I'll tell you one thing about it. we tried to make the you know when when the board put out the Daniel Dubois fight, and remember I'm you know Daniel I think thinks a really great potentially a great fighter. He said no. He said I want to go for what I feel are bigger fights for me at this stage. Of my career. I'm number one in Europe. I'm number one to Char, and I just want to. I want. I want. I just want my foot on the gas. I want to fight for a world title as soon as possible. Did he offer to fight Joshua after Miller, Miller pulled out? I believe he did. Yeah. I mean, it was before I got involved with him, but I believe he did do that. that shows the minerals of the man, doesn't it? it? Certainly does. He wants the fights. He wants the big fights, and uh, it's my job to make him happen. What do you make of Tyson Fury and Dillian White, Frank? Do you reckon that could happen? I don't know. He's got this fight, obviously, with uh, Schwartz. We've got to get that out of the way on June the 15th and then see, where, see how the land lies. But, um, you know, Tyson made a statement yesterday. Um, he doesn't duck anybody. He never has ducked anybody. He's probably the, uh, the only heavyweight out of the three, the three, you know, three best heavyweights in the world. He's the only one who's gone to the other guy's backyard to fight for title. He's done it on two occasions. Went to Germany, went to the States, fighting guys at their prime. So he ain't never ducked anybody. And I don't think he's about to duck anyone now. I mean, you've been, in, you've been in boxing, obviously, an awful long time. I mean, well, can you remember a time when the heavyweight division was exciting? Is this, Frank? No, I think it's... You know what the amazing thing is? When, I remember when I got back into boxing, you know, heavyweight, British heavyweights, like, very average. 
now it's like we're getting some seriously we're we, now we're getting some really seriously we're in a seriously good position where most of the best heavyweights are coming out of the UK you got, I mean, you've got Fury, Wilder and um, Joshua at the top, people who everybody identifies with. You've got great fighters coming through. I mean, is it, this is a bit of a golden age, isn't it, Frank? It certainly is a golden age for, for British heavyweight boxing. And we've got the next generation coming through. Time these guys finish all their business in the States. With, you've got Tyson out there. You've got Deontay Wilder out there. You've got Anthony Joshua. Time they come back, one of these three fighters you've got, I think it's either going to be a mandatory, or if not two of them will be mandatory, in a mandatory position to fight one of them. One last thing, for I'm going to have to ask you. There's been a little bit of criticism of the of the Schwartz fight being made pay per view. I mean, how how do you answer that? I think the, the, I mean it's really simple as far as I'm concerned. It's not you know at the end of the day it's not my decision, but I go with a decision because the fact of the matter is Tyson is now a pay per view fighter. That's where he's at. You know he's at that echelon now. He proved that in his last fight, and that's where he's at. I mean you know, when I look at some of these other fights that have gone on as pay per view, that's as good as any of them. Um, you know some of the uh, stuff you've seen on Sky. It is what it is. That's the only way we can make sure that Tyson gets the position what he, where we want him to be, and that's to get the exposure in the states so that he's in a position when we try and make the fight with one of these guys that we've got an equal seat at the table with ESPN's backing and, and sorry ESPN and BT's backing. Hey, thanks for your time, Frank. Thanks, thanks, thanks. Thanks.